Hi guys, good day everyone. My name is Jai, and this is me again to share with you, our fifth exercise. We still have the start session above. Its use is for us to check the value of our session variables, and we are still in binary value. If the value is 1 we will redirect to the registered page and if 0 we will return to the create account page. This is our form, object element, which handles our submit action event. Here we put our header page label, the name is create account. Next is our text box for the full name. The email address text box, username, password, and the confirm password input box. Then finally our submit button. Clicking the submit button, we will call the submit.php file. This is the div object element. Here we display the result, if your password is weak or strong, so that the user can immediately see the information about his password. Now, let's look at our style underscore css.php file. It contains our CSS and JavaScript. We have three functions in our JavaScript. The first is the key press function, then the loss focus, and the check password page function. Let's get the value in the password text box. We will pass it on to the password checking page to check if it is weak or strong. Let's also open the check password.php file. The contents of this file are codes to check our input password. In this file, we use the built-in PHP function. Preg match function for uppercase, lowercase, number, and special characters. Without the result of our preg match, we will display on the error with the message of the weak password. Then we also check the length of the password characters. It should not be less than 8 characters, so that we can say that our password is strong and it cannot be hacked immediately. Let's open the submit.php file, so that we can see the contents of the written codes. Do you notice that it is almost the same as our check password.php file? Yes, it's almost the same, and we still need to validate user's input information in our submit.php file, before we save it to our database. This is another validation, which is important to put in order not to get into our query script, we limit the extra length of characters. Let's use a SHA-256 encryption. For now, this is one of the safest to use to encrypt our password, because its encryption is only one way, which means, it does not have a decryption. Let's also open our index.php within 88 folder names. This is the page after clicking the submit button and our user account has been successfully created. We will post our message on this page, that the user account has been successfully created. I think we are done, let's test the output of our exercise.